2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the John Deere Classic is about to start. Pleased you could join us for this second round action. Hi everyone, Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, this player is trailing. Do they have to really step it up and get it going today? Look, only a couple behind, so yeah, they are right into this at the moment. They've got to keep pressing on, not worry about what the players are doing around them, and keep their eye on the prize. Keep on that front foot and start making birdies. Big day coming up. Can't wait to see how it unfolds, Rich. This should be an absolute beauty. You've been here a long time, haven't you, today? You have way too much energy for me. Caffeine's just kicking in now. Oh, boy. That drive, heading straight towards the cut stuff. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? This is looking around 115 yards out. Should find the green here. Now yeah, that looked pretty good the whole way. What's in front of them, Henny, with this putt? This one's 13 feet from the cup. He's staring down a birdie putt here. Hey, nice looking line. Uh, a bit long on that one. This putt's about four feet from the hole. And that's an opening hole par for this player. That's a rock solid par right there. Welcome to this par five hole. Par five, players will be looking for the opportunities to make four here, but if they're out of position, sixes come on you quickly. It's heading to the rough for mine. Second shot on the second.
And here we are with the third shot. This would be a great up and down. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Yeah, they've left it in the perfect spot here, just below the hole. They can be aggressive up the hill. That's disappointing. Just accept the bogey and move on. Just a short putt remaining here. Now let's switch our focus to Colin Morikawa. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. Par three, 183 yards back up the hill. A blind tee shot, but a simple tee shot all in all. Going with the five iron here. Can they get a little ground draw here? Oh, that's a lovely looking shot into birdie range here at the third. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? And that should secure the par on this one. Currently four under for the event. Let's see what happens here on the fourth. Par four, 448 yards, sweeping dog leg left to right, big tree in the middle, missed that and you've got a simple second shot into a sliver of a green. Oh, that was flushed. Oh, he's caught up in some branches there. Handy effort, that one. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? I can see the 125 yard marker just nearby. Over 300 yards from the tee as well. Going with the eight iron here. Ah, uh, that's disappointing. This would be a great up and down. Time now for the fourth shot. This is their fifth shot.
Penny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? It's 13 feet out. Unlucky for some. The old-fashioned hammer hands. That'll ruin any putter's stats. This is a triple bogey attempt here. Ooh, nice line. And there it is. Now over to Colin Morikawa. Oh, he's out in front here in this rivalry, but can he stay that way? This is from miles away. This is what they have left for birdie here. Oh, just missed. That's disappointing. And after that effort, that's how it looks. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Time to take a look at what this par four might be in order. Par four, this fairway chases away from the players down the hill, so tee shots will run forever, setting up a second shot that is very simple and straightforward. Well, that's a touch of the Freddie Couples rhythm right there. And he's down there. He is right on the 150 yard marker here. Chosen the pitching wedge here. That swing didn't deserve a good reward. This should head into the rough. That's a little wayward. A bit short with that effort. Colin Morikawa setting up his shot. That's almost a gimme. Great chip. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. Now that's a poor lie. Will he be able to get out of here? Looks like they have a bad lie here in the sand. Ah, uh, that's a bit unlucky. And the player's left with an opportunity to get up and down here from the sand. From the sand, looking to get up and down. Is their sixth shot. Setting up from the first cut here in the green. Well done. That takes the pressure off the putt. That's a chip to be proud of. Judging it beautifully. And this one's for quadruple bogey. 
That's a good putt to make, that one. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. I love a good two-shotter. Birdies on par fours feel great because you've had to execute all three shots. Par four measures just 361 yards, but only the long players will try and drive this green. The others, lay it up with an iron, wedge it on, hit it close, make your birdie. Yep, give yourself a pat on the back. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? Setting up this shot from about 120. No harm, no foul there with that shot. Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. Ouch, that hurts. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hole. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. Nice little par putt here. Well done. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. There's always a sense of excitement striding onto the tee of a par three hole. Par three down the hill. It seemingly plays short, but I can promise you it doesn't. That dog will hunt. What's in front of them, Henny? This is downhill. Can't be too bold. Just didn't drop. Par putt coming up here. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Now let's switch our focus to Colin Morikawa. He's currently ahead in this rivalry. Let's see what happens. And he's safely on the green. So after that effort, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. We've arrived at a par four hole. 
par four. Every single shot plays uphill. Make sure to take plenty of club. It's like that ball had a magnet in it for the bunker. And that's the line, the sand. Sitting at three over. Well struck. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. This is huge for momentum. Got to try and hold this. This for par. And the putt goes down. A nice display of resilience in the end. Yeah, in the bunker, off the tee. Great recovery. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. It's time to begin this par four hole. Par four, 485 yards. The toughest hole on the golf course. Make sure you find the fairway and get your second shot somewhere around the green to give yourself the best chance of making four. What kind of rhythm is that? It must be tough falling out of bed every day with a rhythm like that. sitting at three over par. <laughs> Opting for the six iron. They've decided to club up. Nicely done. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. Go to your home ball. Go to your home. Wow, that's misjudged. Seven feet to the cup. And putt is underway. Well, that'll maintain the momentum. Nice par putt. Now over to Colin Morikawa. Oh, he's out in front here in this rivalry, but can he stay that way? Let's take a look at Colin Morikawa. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. And how did that shot impact the score? Let's have a look at the leaderboard. All righty, Rich. This is crunch time. We're through nine holes today, and this player's on the wrong side of the cut line. Luke. Right now, they're so far below the cut line, it's going to take a miracle for them to stick around. 
Now with the honor on a par five. Par five, 581 yards. Most players will be laying up for their second shots as a large pond on the right-hand side of the green will collect your golf ball if you hit a wayward one going forward in two. Well, I'm sure it looked better in their mind before they hit it. Penny, what does that lie look like? Looks like they have a bad lie here in the second cut. Sitting at three over. Now that's heading further left than they wanted, I think. They have absolutely flushed that one. Colin Morikawa, he was meant to be the original and best approach player, but I think we have a new sheriff in town. Ah, that's frustrating. Just a tiny putt is all that remains. And as they leave that hole, Rich, you'd imagine a little bit frustrated after such a great shot in. Currently at plus three for the event. Pegging it up on the 11th hole here. Par four, 428 yard tree line hole. Difficult driving hole all the way around, but should you find the fairway, the second shot on a little plateau just above the fairway is very basic. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? Setting up here from about 155. Going with the pitching wedge here. We need this one to bounce right. Yeah, not a bad effort, that one. Up onto the green and a chance to hold your putt. Now let's switch our focus to Colin Morikawa. He's currently ahead in this rivalry. Let's see what happens. Great looking shot, this. A wonderful shot. A chance for Birdie here on the 11th. And a fantastic look upcoming. And he's down there. You got a read? Straight back up this hill can be firm here. That'll sting a bit. And this putt coming up for his par. That's half a chance of being hold, this one. Yeah, good job. Nice par.
And with that effort, now three over for the tournament. Let's head to the 12th hole, shall we? Par three, plays 208 yards from the back. And saying that, this is a good birdie opportunity as the green is massive in size. Oh, that sounded absolutely flushed. That's a good shot by him. He'll be delighted. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Setting up this putt 18 feet from the cup. This one's tracking. Mm, just hammered that through the line. This part of about seven feet to the hole. This is what they have left for par. It's got a chance. That gets the job done. Now over to Colin Morikawa. Oh, he's out in front here in this rivalry, but can he stay that way? Colin Morikawa setting up his shot. Oh, stop it. What a way to make your par. God, oh, what a hole out. I'd love to say I'm surprised, but I'm not. This is just what they do. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Let's see what happens here on the 13th hole, shall we? Par four, back up the hill, 418 yards, the widest fairway on the golf course. Avoid all those bunkers. Second shot up the hill to a narrow green that slopes off on both sides. Oh, that was pure. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Well, by my estimation, they're looking at 110 here. Feeling strong, going for less club. Good shot there, Beamer. Now let's switch our focus to Colin Morikawa. He's currently ahead in this rivalry. Let's see what happens. Oh, you know you want to. And gets that putt of distance to go. Oh, that's going to add a little fuel to the fire of this group rivalry, guys. Massive putt. Just take a look at this one, Rich. Do you think it's makeable? Luke, I, I really don't think this is going to happen, but you know what? I've been wrong before, and it could happen again. Ooh. No, that's too bad. This is a par putt. Okay, let's head to the next. 
The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Teeing off now on the 14th hole. If you feel brave, you can certainly take driver out, but I suspect a lot of players will lay back with an iron, giving himself a short yet simple second shot. A birdie here is a must if you want to win. That's a nice looking tee shot, that one. Players setting up, trying to get up and down from the bunker. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Yeah, that's a touch of class. Terrific little chip. Got to say, his short game is phenomenal. He has this putt to save his par. Right over the spot they were looking at. Lydia Ko is currently enjoying first place in this one. The honour is yours. Time to hit a good one here at the 15th. Oh, you couldn't paint a better picture. Gorgeous swing. And what's in front of them there, Henny? Setting up from about 130 yards out. Opting for the 9-iron. Oh, I didn't see this as possible. What a shot. That should set up another chance. Slim chance here for Birdie, but you never know. One wheat picks too many, I think. This putt is of nine feet. This for par. Nice line. And in it goes for the par. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Here we are in front of a par three. 
par three only plays 153, but a tricky little green to say the least. Don't let the beauty of the river to your left swallow you in. This is a tough but fun little par three. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Oh, what a gorgeous looking shot that is, Rich. Oh, well played into birdie range here at the 16th. Now over to Colin Morikawa. Oh, he's out in front here in this rivalry, but can he stay that way? Oh, Rich, a shot for the ages. And a chip in, Luke, just what the doctor ordered. Just three feet to the cup. He was on a good line. He's got a par out here. Let's see if he can make it. Yeah, good putt. Well hold. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. As we head now to the par five next. Players looking for a fast finish on the par five, 550 yards. Second shot does play up the hill, but there's plenty of room to miss your second shot around this green. Must make birdie for the players in the field. Oh, I could watch that swing all day. That's beautiful. Well, after a successful drive at the 17th at TPC Deer Run, the players are faced with a question. Rich, lay up or go for it? Second shot straight back up the hill. Most players will bail just a little bit left as the green tends to run away quite a bit down the slope on the right-hand side. This is a great opportunity and possibly the final birdie opportunity on this golf course. This one might roll into the rough. Getting ready to play their third. Well, Rich, I think they can make this one. Luke, I, I just don't see this happening. I tell you, I'd love to see this player prove me wrong, though. Right by the hole. Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. The putt drops, and we're moving on. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. Teeing off here at the lucky last, the 18. Hard to describe the difficulty of this tee shot unless you've actually been here. Par four, 463 yards. Missed the fairway bunker down the right-hand side, and you've got a clear shot to a very narrow green surrounded by water on the left-hand side. Three over par.
Wonderful shot into the 18th and a chance for birdie. This putt is about eight feet. This looks good. And with that putt, concludes this player's round. Well, with that, unfortunately, this person's event is over. Unable to make the cut here today, that's a shame. It's a sinking feeling when you go out there and you just don't have it, you miss the cut. Trunk slamming it is what they used to call it. Um, Either way, it's just not a good feeling and hopefully better days ahead. On behalf of Rich Beam, Henny Kuyak, John McCarthy, I'm Luke Elvey saying so long from 2K Sports.